Now, the Ghana Statistical Service um, did a survey as they, as they do every, every year, and then they publish a report, right? Now, this report is for the 2022 um, year, and the headline here is tw two out of 10 married men had m two or more sexual partners in 2022. Okay, so um, you want to do us the honors? I should read the story? Yeah. I'll read it. A survey conducted by the Ghana Demographic and Health Survey of the Ghana Statistical Service has revealed that two out of 10 men, 10 married men, had two or more sexual partners in 2022. Now, out of the 7,044 men that were interviewed for the survey, the report revealed that 15% of men aged between 15 and 49 had two or more sexual partners in the last 12 months, and 35% had sexual intercourse in the last 12 months with a person who was neither the wife or lived with them. Of the 35% of men, of married men, who had sexual intercourse with partners who were neither their wives nor lived with them, 17 reported not using a condom during their last sexual intercourse. In contrast, out of the 15,014 women that were interviewed, 23% had sexual intercourse in the last 12 months with a person who was neither their husband nor lived with them. Among these women, 11% used a condom during their last sexual encounter with such a partner. In relation to sexually transmitted diseases, specifically HIV, 78% of women and 72% of men who have heard of HIV or AIDS express discriminatory attitudes towards people living with HIV. Ah, wow. A lot to unpack. Yeah. A lot to unpack in there. So kindly go over to citynewsroom.com. And this is just one mm. of the very interesting stories that have come out of the survey, the report. There are so many others, you know, different things going on in the, in the, in, on the sexual front, as it were, of um, the Ghanaian society. Now, the question that we're asking is a very simple one. What are your thoughts on this? And we're picking the headline. We've read the story itself, but we're focusing on the headline. Two out of 10 married men had two or more sexual partners in 2022. Do you believe it? Does this sound credible? There were 7,000 men that were interviewed. So maybe you feel that the interview was skewed to a, a small group of people. But usually, you know, the surveys are done to be very representative of the larger population. Yeah. So I'm sure they scanned across the, 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 the country mm. and interviewed people across the country, you okay. know. So it, it would be f a fair representation mm. of what is going on. Okay. What do you think? Mm -hmm. No, I'm just saying that that's how surveys are done. Oh, well. Oh. People lie. People lie. Yeah. So you're saying that, wait, when you say people lie, you're saying that when they say two out of ten married men had two or more sexual partners, you don't believe it? No. The number should be higher. Why? The number should be higher? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, that's where you're going with it. Exactly. Oh, I thought you would say that, oh, it's too much. No, no. Two. Just, just two? No. Eh. Hey. The number should be higher. Like how high? Like eight high. No, so you're saying that your survey, which is not scientific, you, you have 8 out of 10. Yeah, I could be like 6 to 8 out of 10. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Ghana Statistical Service is our report that we are basing it on. Well, some other 
stations have no, also no, no, reported no, 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 yeah, you, no, no, no. Are you saying the other stations did service? You know what? You can no, you, you can throw numbers out there, but it has to be based on something. Yeah. Do you understand? Based on experiences and based on uh, the fact that we have also your re limit researched. Wait, wait you are, personally. Are you using your limited experience? Ah, leave me. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no. the, 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 the Even you cannot believe it. No, wait, wait. Even you wait, cannot believe wait, it. Wait, because wait, I'm sure the first day wait. you're like, oh, okay. Thank you, GSS. Ah. No. Actually, when, when I saw it, I was you're like, You're like, what? Mm. And I'm sure. And, as a, you know, as a, as a, mm, I did sure. Yeah, the person that came into my mind is the person who put out this survey is yeah. not telling the truth. Or it's the man that put out the survey. No, but you see, why would you lie, though? I don't think the you know no it's i don't think gss is lying but yeah. i think you know because we are in a country people are very secretive or, yeah yeah uh, so yeah. so yeah so no, people may not necessarily tell the truth yes like, oh no you know, how yeah. how can i how can yeah. i i'm very married the yeah. ring is shining yeah. <laughs> you know you can see both so i can't do that to my wife Charlie, it's wild though. guess what do you think what do you think i mean give us a call zero two zero four 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 seven zero three three. We want to hear from you across the country. So as far as far north as Paga, you know, Navrongo. Give us a call, right? Boko Bongo. Give us a call. Upper from the Upper West Side, Jirapa, Laura. Give us a call. We want to hear from you. Coming down to Tichiman, going towards Enchi, Samra Boy. Give us a call. We want to hear from you. All right, the OT region side, Jessica, and all. We want to hear from you. Ashanti region, call us. We want to hear from you. All over the, the southern belt, anywhere you're watching us from, give us a call. We want to hear from you on this matter. Right. It's a very, we have to settle the score today. You see, that is, did, so the people, did they lie to GSS? They did. Mm -hmm. Did they lie to GSS? They did. They were lying to they GSS? Did. Yeah. yeah. They didn't tell the truth. They didn't tell the truth. They hey. didn't tell the truth. They didn't tell the truth. Hey, so what about the women's one? Because the women's one is also there. Yeah. yeah. You know, I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't speak about the numbers, but these yeah. things are really happening. Yeah. 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 Let's, let's put the numbers aside. These things are really happening. When I think of it, I ask myself, okay, so why are you getting married then? Well, and I begin to ask myself, like, okay, so if we're entering marriage, why don't we open up and say, okay, this is what I like? Do you understand? Mm. And this is the kind of person I am. So it won't be like cheating. So we we'll know that, okay, maybe you're a polygamous person, mm. really. So, and, and I always say, if you're a polygamous person, go for women that like polyga po po polygamy. Okay. They are there. They are women that are okay with yeah, it. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. No, but it's interesting, though. Okay, anyway, we have. Yeah, we, we have... actually have a caller. Yeah. And uh, Thomas from New Sherman. Hi, Thomas. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. You're welcome to the show. Yeah. Thank so you the much. GSS is saying two out of um, ten married men, you know, actually have um, two or more sexual partners, you know. And what are your thoughts about it? Oh yeah, I think I think the lady, uh, the lady's contention is right. I think almost six, six to six out of the ten, most of them don't tell their women the truth. They hide it. And most of the women, too, I think they don't satisfy their men well. That's why they go out. Yeah. They it's about satisfaction, yeah. huh? <laughs> Come again. So it's about satisfaction? Yeah, yeah. Most it's about satisfaction. The men, when they give up money, they, just, they think that they are the big men, then they'll be going about making from all things. Then they'll be using the small girls, the school girls. Right. Like the university girls, they love them very much. They love them. Well, the time I was packing it, some big man, very old man, he was in his car, luxurious like car. But then he was watching the girls, uh, he entered the jata. He did them. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much for this. Program. Yeah. Thank you. Every thank man you. will tell you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thomas. Thank, thank you, you so much, Thomas. Have a nice day. <laughs> and Preku, there you have it, our first caller. Thank you. It's like was a man. No, and no, he no, listen, me. but you didn't hear what he said. The big man <laughs> and his luxurious car watching the young girl he and then entered the gutter. Yeah, but he said that you see the 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 aspect that I found interesting was the, the reason he gave. Satisfaction. 
that the women don't satisfy their men, so they are going out there. I don't, I don't believe that's the case necessarily. Now, what is satisfaction? Mm -hmm. Because for, and it's, and it's morning TV, so you know, we are um, very circumspect yeah. because it was morning TV. But the truth of the matter is that for a man, the achievement of an orgasm is not that difficult. Yeah. Do you get it? Uh -huh. And so it's almost like when you say satisfaction or the having satisfaction is the reason or lack of satisfaction is the reason why they go out. It's the main reason. I think yeah. opportunity, conquest, you know, ticking out the boxes, I can do, it's, I've done because I can do. So do everything before you get married. Uh, we have Mahmoud <laughs> on the line with us. Hello, Mahmoud. Mahmoud, good morning. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where are you speaking to us from? Please, I'm calling from Sakogo, especially Northeast region. Northeast region, fantastic. Yes, please. So talk to us about what you think of this um, conversation we're having. <laughs> Actually, when I saw it the first time, I laughed. Really? Mm. What made you I laugh? What made you, what made you laugh? I said we are lucky. We the men, we are lucky. We are lucky. Actually, <laughs> actually. <laughs> so you think you think the numbers are higher? Actually, the number is high. It's high. But to be sincere for me, I'm part of the two. You are part of the two, eh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Two out of ten married men. Mahmoud and, his, and the rest. Is it? Mahmoud and Co. Please. She has, she has created a club with you and the other people yes, in it. Yes, Mahmoud, and, Mahmoud and, the, and, and the rest. two or more sexual partners apart <laughs> from their wife. Reporting by Christy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so okay. much for being truthful. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Right. okay. Right. Have a nice day. Right. And, 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 and be safe. Be safe. Okay. Be safe. <laughs> Actually, that's a very good point, you know, because the, the, it also says that um, out of the, the, the... On top of everything they're doing, they, they're they also not condoms. using condoms. Exactly. You know, out of that group, 35% were, were not... No, 17% did not use condoms. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. No, that's crazy. It's like it's like it's like you want to dance with death. Mm -hmm. You see a car is coming, then you'll be dancing in the middle of the road. And then the car is coming. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what actually is when you are exploring sexual partners without a condom. Right. It's very dangerous, mm -hmm. you know. And we joke with it because you look at the person's face and you say, Ah, how can this one have HIV? But it's not written on the face. It's not written on the face. HIV yeah. It's not written on anybody's mm -hmm. face. Mm. Mm. Anyway, so back to the conversation. Back to the <clears> conversation. <throat> you say you don't believe that. Uh, anyway, I also don't believe yeah, that. Yeah, we, we all don't believe. <laughs> I don't Everybody believe are that. shocked. I think the number should be higher. Even the men that, even but the men the see, would, would laugh, but, like how Mahmoud was laughing. But you see, the, the issue is um, the people that are being questioned we have to find a way of asking the questions that makes them less defensive. Exactly. So that they can be more open mm -hmm. and more honest about mm -hmm. their reality. Mm -hmm. Look at Mahmoud. I applaud him. Exactly. Because you see, he's just boldly said that, look, listen, me, I'm there, I'm part of it. I'm right. a married man, and hey, yeah. I'm there with them. Okay, so on that note, we have another caller from uh, Blake Kuma. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Me. Ni, Ni, how are you doing this morning? I'm, I'm fine, yes, ma'am. Okay, so Ni, obviously you know what we're talking about. Do you believe the GSS? Uh, well, I think the numbers um, might be quite higher than what it is out. Ah, okay. All right. And why do you say so? <coughs> yeah, um, so maybe I speak for myself. Right. Um, yeah, and maybe to be truthful enough, um, out of the three, the numbers should be a bit higher because I personally, I'm, I'm, I'm a part of it. Oh. 
Oh. You guys wow. are all yeah. confessing this morning. I feel like a priest. I'm a priest. <laughs> okay, the Lord has forgiven you. Yeah, and, you know, I, I think there might be so many factors that are resulting in this particular case. Okay, so tell us why. Okay, for example, you, for example, why would you want to, you know, have, have another partners. sexual partner? Okay, so um, for me, for instance, um, it's something I never dreamt of until I, I finally got married. Aww. So, um, fast forward, um, when I started having issues with my spouse, and then that was what actually led me into that kind of a situation. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, I'm not just fine. I'm not trying yeah, to yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We, we, we are not judging you either. We're not judging you yeah. either, obviously. So, I'm yeah. sure a lot of people might have very serious reasons why they might end up in this kind of situation. Because I never expected myself yeah. to be in such a situation. Yeah. But are you happy? So, are you happy with it? I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm not. I'm actually working at, you know, coming out of this situation. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. You have to work harder and probably see your counselor and, yeah. you know, yeah. try to appease everyone. So there exactly. won't be other problems it. from it. Sure. All right. Have a nice day. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Why? Ah. You have to appease everyone. Chris is coming to do sister sister on, on breakfast day. You have to appease the gods. <laughs> <laughs> if you are going to leave the gods, you have to appease them. Chris is coming to do sister sister. But so wait. So when you say appease, what do we do? Explain. Okay, baby. Yo. So uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. you know, you you know deep down uh -huh. that I'm, I'm a married man, uh -huh. but. I just want to end this relationship. Yeah. But I'm not going to leave it like that. You know what? You know, I'm just. If I was paying your house when I was, yeah. I'll just pay another one year for yeah. you, so you know that okay, I've done something yeah. for you, or I'll settle you yeah. somehow, yeah. and that's it. Appeasing so you just want to live like that? Ah. You will destroy your home, you. That's ah. where she will come out again, honestly. Ah, but wait, oh. when you were when you were we were coming, and we were starting. Maybe you, you. No, you knew that I was already married. You probably gave her so much hope. No, of, of hope for what? Hope that, oh yes, baby, I'm going to be there for you. And probably she's one of those women that are okay with doing that. You know there are uh, women out there that are okay, actually okay with being with a married man. Yeah, and, I do. Yeah. I know that. So but I'm just saying that if you already knew that the person was married, the person has decided that, listen, right, right, my wife is my one and all. Where are you going to? Hey, like hold on. You are, look, listen, it was a short time. And, and join you see, for a short you, time. you know, that's why I we have ended. No, you see, that's why I always like um, communication. It's yeah. very important yeah. to say, okay, you know what? If we, even if we're doing this together, yeah. don't put your hope in me. Okay, you understand? Mm -hmm. We're doing this for fun. Yeah, you but think a lot of people lead people on? They leave. Oh my mm. God. The leading on is what causes the problems. Yeah. The leading on is what, you know, causes a third person to come yeah. to your home to destroy yeah. everything. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But you can just be open about it. You know what? I don't think this is going to go anywhere. Don't put your head there. <clears throat> but obviously, we have to talk about more about this later. But we have a caller from the <clears throat> northern region. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, good morning. Your name, please. I am Mohammed from Northern Region. Mohammed, which part of the Northern Region are you? Uh, Bimbila, oh, to okay. be specific. Okay, okay, okay. How's Bimbila this morning? Uh, we are doing well. Wonderful. What do you make of the conversation we are having? Uh, I think, I think with, with the survey, mm. they have rather underscored it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's underscored. Yeah. Eh? Yes. Well, you know, I think it should yes, go, like, ahead. go ahead. Either either five out of ten or even beyond. <laughs> or oh, beyond, eh? Yeah. In, my my, real, my, my, my real terms. Yeah, my suspicion is that when they mm. ask the people the questions, the people were they are not truthful. feeling you know, like I can, I don't want to tell the truth, you know, so they would just so a, a few truthful people were the ones that accounted for the two out of ten. That's what I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay. it's in, but it's interesting that you're saying that at least five out of ten, maybe even higher. Yeah. Because I think yeah. that's, that seems to be a general view, even among us men, you know, that um, yeah. the numbers are much higher. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for the call. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Have you. a nice day. All right. You too.
But you yeah. know, um, like we were talking about earlier, um, we talked about communication, mm -hmm. and I think secondly, um, men always say, I don't mm -hmm. know if it's true, that they can, a man can actually tell you that, you know what, I can be sleeping with this person, but mm -hmm. I don't have feelings for her, mm -hmm. or I don't love her. Mm -hmm. It's just that I'm sleeping with her. Yeah. But when it's a woman, mm -hmm. before a woman thinks of doing that sort of thing with yeah. you, she kind of like, I don't want to say catch feeling, but she gets attached. Yes. She yes, gets attached. For sure. So when we look at the statistics, mm. the men should be worried that, oh, if my wife is staying or sleeping with somebody, she's probably attached to him than I am right now, mm. than me right now. Mm. Yeah. So there needs to be a lot of communication. And anyway, we have Daniel from Pokwasi joining us now. Hello, Daniel. Good morning, Daniel. Yes, good morning. How are you? You are welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, okay. What the survey said, he, he has rather gotten it wrong. It's zero over ten. <laughs> <laughs> because what I, what I notice is that if you really don't know God in these times, mm -hmm. marriage, the women believe that money is the marriage. Mm -hmm. Men too believe that when they come home and the women give them hot time, it's a hot, 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 hot situation. What they will do is that they will be with their friends. At the end of the day, you know what will happen. And the truth is that I don't see any man that does not teach you, even those married women. Because it's a situation that, because we have deviated from the word marriage. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. when they marry, the foundation <coughs> of the marriage is all neglected. That's God. Mm -hmm. So many of us, when you come home and the woman give you problems, small problems, then you are out of your house. Mm. Yeah. But forgotten that somebody says something and I agree with my pastor. He said, after sex, you ask yourself, what again? You see that you begin to hate yourself. Right. Because you have it. Mm. When you marry, your wife is your mother. Your wife is your everything. It's like you. When you offend her, you also offend yourself. Mm. But some of us have the better. So for now, there is a problem. The Christian don't have to go back before somebody will marry. Let them understand. Because some of them, they don't even understand. They are just crying for marriage. When yeah. they see the man or they see the woman, True. they will marry. Yeah. They don't True. even understand. True. They yeah. will marry. True. Mm. That's the problem we have. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. I yeah. really like mm. that submission, and um, he made a lot of sense. Yeah. And that just go by like the last line mm. that everybody wants to get married, but mm. they don't know. And they understand. They don't what understand is, what into. it is to get into it. Yeah. You yeah. understand? A lot I agree of people, with him. I, I've met I so many people yeah. that just wake up and just mm. oh yeah, it, time, age, everything. Because it's time to get yes. married, so let's do it. Yes, you know? and when they get there, they're mm. like kind of stuck. What did I just do? Yeah, yeah. But hey. Thank you very much for all the calls that you um, came, that came through, and to those who attempted to call and didn't get through, um, sorry and uh, better luck next time. Uh, this conversation we can keep it going, you know, in our various communities and various homes. I actually think that um, we need to be more forthright and honest in answering questionnaires, you know. Otherwise, don't take part in the survey because yeah. you skew the numbers mm -hmm. and give a wrong impression, mm -hmm. you know. That's I think. I mean, GS, GSS has done a very good job you know by going around and, by, you yeah. know, and, and, and doing all these surveys and, and it's very important for us but when it comes to the issue of but you see again i also find it interesting because in times past this would not necessarily have been part of the survey yeah yeah yeah, you yeah. Understand? we'll do that with the health issues we'll do it with other issues but openly asking people about sexual things and getting them to answer, answer yeah I think we've made some progress, yeah. but we need to be more forthright and more honest right, about right, what our right. answers are. And, and also, we should commend the um, GSS for yes. putting this out, because at the end of the day, we've also realized how many people do not take the use of condoms seriously, seriously yeah. and um, the um, sp uh, spreading numbers we, of STDs think it's a seriously. Joke. Exactly. Yeah. So thank you, GSS, for this work done. Yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for joining us.